Yeah. Trailers, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seeing what they're drifting. Part over there once. Yeah. It's Brian. Hello. They should. We should get a helmet uh, like the Red Devils one. And mm -hmm. we just pull the switch when we film it. Yeah. Good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. See how much they are. <laughs> this is this is the master filmmaker. He's almost as good as me. <laughs> Joking, he's far better than me. Here comes the boss. Right in close order. Right.
close. March! Memphis Awards will form one single file. By the centre, quick march! <coughs>
and this short passage, enshrined in our regimental charter, sums up the personal qualities that we, re we require of our officers and soldiers. As a paratrooper, you must not only be prepared to be outnumbered going into battle, you must expect it. For it is there, in the van of the battle, where it is most dangerous, that your duty lies. You stand here in front of your families and friends today as volunteers. You have been toughened by hard physical training, and you have bags of optimism and eagerness to get to your battalions and begin your careers. Now you've all done tremendously well to get here, and you should be rightly proud of yourselves. Well done, every man and emperor. Now may I just say how uh, splendid the parade has been so far. I think your drill has been excellent and your turnout has been impeccable. I'm sure that your family and friends and the rest of the spectators would agree. Many of your family and friends probably cannot believe the change that you've undergone in the last six months. Now you know that you join a regiment with a rich history. You will be aware that 76 years ago, soldiers from C Company 2 Para, having just conducted the successful Brunival raid, raid, which of course is our first battle honor, alongside the rest of the newly formed regiment, were preparing for airborne operations in Italy and North Africa. Learning new skills have proved to be so important throughout the rest of the war. These brave pioneers set the standard for the regiment and for their regimental successes to follow. Next year, the regiment will mark the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landing in Normandy and the largest ever airborne operation, Operation Market Garden <coughs> at Arnhem. Now, of course, later in the Second World War, in 1944, soldiers from the 2nd Parachute Brigade are dropped into Megara Airfield outside Athens on Op Manor. Now, this battle honour, your platoon proudly carries as your name. At its height, during that operation, paratroopers were engaged in intense street-to-street -street fighting against communist forces, whilst at the same time feeding over 20,000 civilians daily. Now, fast forward 38 years, and determined and committed paratroopers from two and three para were preparing to cross the South Atlantic in order to take part in the retake of the Falkland Islands after the Argentinian invasion. Now their unexpected, their outstanding performance in horrendous conditions epitomise the characteristics of the airborne soldier. And just 10 years ago, soldiers from 2 and 3 Para were deployed in the Helmand province, Afghanistan, on Operation Herod. During both the Afghanistan and Iraq campaigns, the regiment once again proved its professionalism, its commitment, its determination, and its desire to succeed on the battlefield. And now, today, the regiment stands ready to deploy at very short notice to any corner of the globe on behalf of the British government and Her Majesty the Queen. Now, each one of our battle honours is unique and special to the parachute regiment. But all of them involve young, inexperienced paratroopers, just like yourselves, who are barely out of basic training before being ordered to deploy on operations. The same is true for all future deployments. As a regiment, we must be prepared for operations and we must ensure that every one of our soldiers meets the standard, both mentally and physically. Your being here today tells me that you are indeed ready and that you are good enough to take your place in the battalions. P Company and the arduous Combat Infantry Course Para have proved that. You have endured and passed the test that separates us from the rest of the infantry. 
The same test that every man in the regiment has taken before you. Now whilst your career starts here today, you will continue to learn and to develop through the rest of your time in the regiment. Believe in yourself and trust those around you. The next major step for you is to earn your parachute wings at RAF Rise Lord. I have no doubt that you will thoroughly enjoy that course and you will be feel tremendously proud when you wear your ring wings for the first time. Now I can't guarantee when this moment will be for you, but rest assured that your battalions, two and three power, will get you your jump wings as soon as possible. And with that, of course, comes parapet. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to say a few well-deserved thank yous. First of all to the staff, and many thanks to the members of the Athens Platoon Training Team, led by Lieutenant Dan Lovegrove and Sergeant Ryan North. Now they've worked incredibly hard to provide an extremely high standard of training for the recruits. I think they deserve a round of applause.
and will, be, will allow you to become the paratrooper that you and we want you to be. Always remember our values and standards, both the values and standards of the British Army, but also of the parish regiment. You stand for something more now. Live up to that expectation and always, always set the standard. People, both in the army and outside, will look at you and ask, why are you different? And you have to prove why you are different. And you have to prove why you are cut above the rest. Strive for excellence in everything that you do. Read and live the regimental charter. Be professional, resilient, disciplined, versatile, courageous, and self-reliant. These are our regiment's watchwords. And lastly, but I think most importantly, you must be ready for anything. In a world that is increasingly unstable, I have absolutely no doubt that you all have a very busy and fulfilling career within the regiment. Make the most of it and enjoy every moment you have. As a paratrooper who's at the end of his career, I am exceptionally proud of you and I've got to say there's an element of envy in there I would love to start again. So have a brilliant afternoon Enjoy the rest of the day. You have certainly earned it. You treat me with Thank you.